The skeletal system serves as the foundation of the human body, a complex structure that allows us to move, protect our internal organs, and perform various daily activities. Comprised of 206 bones in adults, the skeletal system is an intricate network of bones, joints, cartilage, ligaments, and tendons working harmoniously to support our body. The skeletal system provides a structural framework that gives our body its own shape and form. Without bones, our bodies would be limp and unable to stand upright. Think of the skeletal system as a scaffolding that holds everything in place from our muscles to our skin. One of the most vital functions of the skeletal system is to protect our internal organs from damage. The skull encases the brain, the rib cage shields the heart and lungs, and the vertebrae protect the spinal cord. This protective function is essential for survival as it ensures that our most crucial organs remain intact even in the event of trauma. Bones, in conjunction with muscles, enable movement. Joints allow bones to move relative to one another, facilitating everything from walking to typing. Muscles attach to bones via tendons, and when they contract, they pull on the bones, creating movement. Without this collab, even the simplest task would be absolutely impossible. Bones act as reservoirs for minerals, primarily calcium and phosphorus, which are critical for various bodily functions. These minerals can be released into the bloodstream as needed, helping maintain mineral balance and supporting metabolic processes. Within the cavities of certain bones lies bone marrow, a vital tissue responsible for producing red and white blood cells and platelets. This process, known as hematopoiesis, is crucial for maintaining healthy blood and immune system function. Bones are composed of two main types of tissue, each with distinct roles. There is the compact bone, which is a dense, hard outer layer that provides bones with their strength and rigidity. It is designed to withstand compressive forces and protect the inner layers of the bone. The compact bone forms the outer shell of most bones and is critical for weight-bearing activities. Then there's a spongy bone located inside bones. Spongy bone is lighter and less dense than compact bone. It has a pore structure that resembles a honeycomb, which allows it to absorb shock and distribute pressure. Spongy bone contains red bone marrow, which is involved in the production of blood cells. The human skeleton can be categorized into several types based on the shape and function of the bones. Long bones are longer than they are wide and are primarily found in the arm and legs. Long bones are crucial for movement and support the weight of the body. Then there are short bones, which are approximately as long as they are wide, providing stability and support with little movement. They are designed to bear weight and absorb shock. Then there are flat bones, which are thin and typically curved, such as the skull, ribs, and scapulae. Flat bones protect internal organs and provide a surface for muscle attachment. Next, we have our irregular bones, which have complex shapes that do not fit into the other categories. They often have specialized functions like protecting nervous tissue and supporting multiple joints of attachment for muscles. Sesamoid bones are small, round bones that are embedded within tendons. These bones protect tendons from stress and wear, enhancing the mechanical advantage of tendons. Bone maintenance and development are orchestrated by three main types of cells. Osteoblasts, which are responsible for the formation of new bone tissue. They also synthesize and secrete the bone matrix, which mineralizes to become new bone. Osteocytes, which are mature bone cells that originate from osteoblasts. They maintain the bone matrix and communicate with other bones to regulate bone health and remodeling. Then there are the osteoclasts. These large cells break down bone tissue, a process known as bone resorption. Osteoclasts help in bone remodeling and repair by removing old or damaged bone, allowing osteoblasts to create new healthy bone. Now, how exactly do isometrics fit in all this? Such a famous question on our channel. Let's start with what they are. Isometric exercises, which involve contracting muscles without changing their length, offer significant benefits to the skeletal system in particular. Here's how. It offers mechanical stress because when muscles contract during isometric exercises, they apply force to the bones through their attachments. This mechanical stress stimulates osteoblast activity, leading to increased bone formation and density. Weight-bearing isometric exercises like planks or squats are fairly effective in this regard. 
This is a big deal because bone density tends to decrease with age, leading to conditions like osteoporosis. By incorporating isometric exercises into your routine, you can help maintain or even increase bone density, reducing the risk of fractures. Then there's mineral density. Regular isometric training enhances the deposition of essential minerals such as calcium and phosphorus into the bone matrix, making the bones more robust and less susceptible to fractures. So this is a big deal, especially if you're older. This process is absolutely vital for maintaining the structural integrity of bones. The increased mineral density not only strengthens bones, but also makes them more resilient to daily wear and tear. ISO exercises also play a huge, huge, huge role in enhancing joint stability and health. We've made many videos on this topic, especially when it's about ligament and tendon strength. These static holds and isometric exercises improve the strength and resilience of those. The increased strength contributes to better joint stability, reducing the risk of injuries. Stronger ligaments and tendons mean that joints are better supported, which is particularly important for preventing conditions like sprains and strains. So also going to increase your cartilage health because by maintaining static contractions these exercises will nourish the cartilage in your joints through improved blood flow and synovial fluid circulation the nourishment is essential for maintaining healthy functional joints this healthy cartilage acts as a cushion between bones preventing friction and allowing for smooth movement enhanced blood flow and fluid circulation from isometric exercises will help keep cartilage healthy and reduce the risk of joint related issues improving your posture and spinal health is another huge benefit for isometric exercises these exercises target postural muscles such as the erector spinae and deep abdominal muscles. Strengthening these muscles helps maintain proper spinal alignment and posture, reducing the risk of musculoskeletal issues. Good posture is not just about appearance though, it also affects overall health by ensuring the body systems are aligned correctly. Strong postural muscles help prevent the common issue of back pain, especially in people who spend long hours standing or sitting. Exercise like planks and isometric holds engage the core muscles, providing better support for the spine and enhancing overall stability. A strong core is essential for maintaining balance and stability during various activities, from everyday tasks to athletic performance. By engaging the core muscles through isometric exercises, you can perform spinal support and reduce the risk of injuries related to poor posture. These exercises are often used in rehabilitation and injury prevention due to their controlled and low impact, keywords, nature. For individuals recovering from injuries, ISO exercises allow for the muscle activation and strengthening without putting undue stress on the injured area. This controlled approach aids in gradual recovery and rebuilding of strength. Isometric exercises can be particularly beneficial for those recovering from surgeries or injuries that limit their range of motion. By allowing for muscle engagement without excessive movement, these exercises can help prevent muscle atrophy and promote healing. By enhancing muscle strength, joint stability, and bone density, Density, isometric exercises reduce the likelihood of injuries. Stronger muscles and stable joints are less prone to strains, sprains, and fractures. Regular incorporation of isometric exercises into a fitness routine can build a resilient musculoskeletal system capable of withstanding the demands of daily activities and athletic endeavors. This proactive approach to injury prevention can help maintain long-term health and fitness. Now we talked about the skeletal system and isometrics in depth, but what about the neurological system and how it functions with isometric? training. If that sounds like something you'd like to learn more about, you should check out the video on it here and we'll see you there.